Okay, so we're off and underway. This is Evan Budrovich's video project, dissecting his website. So I'll go over to Facebook. Boom goes the dynamite. We're loaded, off and ready to roll. So I look at the page, Space Shuttle Era. Pretty obvious what I'm looking at. Uh, I got the era beginning in 1981. A couple of missions ending in the 2000s that were the final task of the Space Shuttle. He's got the live NASA television link. So I can press that load it off to the side here with my new tab and ooh, directly to a video so you got flash got Ustream. it's got some variety directly to a video here of astronauts so that that's cool you can go straight to the NASA site another slow loading page you know fun little design here so a couple of links to uh, top of the line programs you got the orbiters that can follow in space when they detach so you got a little slideshow of futuristic Boeing designs, part of the space shuttle here, and you have the detachment, so those could come and play in the future. Uh, video, for some reason, is not loading, and I think that's kind of concerning, so uh, if that's anything clunky on the page, uh, this video should be loading with something. A lot of related websites to the space shuttle, uh, space transformation shuttle systems, all 135 of them, including Atlantis, which is the last one. Uh, the tribute here, uh, a couple of videos, uh, let's see, a photo, a photo of NASA to the right, a couple of advertisements, so not the, not the coolest website ever in terms of design inter interactivity, uh, it's kind of just straightforward, you just, you just see it, you, you, you go to a lot of links, so let's check out special reports, uh, once again, just a lot of links, and as you can tell, it is a history of the space shuttle era, so this kind of site, um, a lot of, a lot of links to other things, so I can looks like I'm going to link over to the video of the Endeavor final launch. As we mentioned, Endeavor right down the street here at the Science Center. Ooh, a little interactive. Uh, talking about when the first two space shuttles in front of them d were destroyed. One in landing, one in takeoff, which allowed the creation of Endeavor to replace the Challenger space shuttle. You got the dimensions right there. A lot bigger than a school bus. Uh, fun known fact, I actually worked for the Science Center over the summer. Uh, before Endeavor came in, so I had to learn a lot about the space shuttle itself and help with designing educational programs for the shuttle. It's kind of why I actually chose this website, hoping I'd be able to learn a little more about the history, or at least re confirm some of the things I already knew. So, ooh, this, okay, now this site to the Hubble is a fantastic little link, very interactive. Ooh, we got a map, and you can uh, scroll through history. I press on random dates in history, and I can get uh, when the Hubble was assembled, uh, let's see, fast forward to the future. Uh, to boost Hubble into a higher orbit or allow it to fall safely. Uh, let's see, it looks like about right now. The James Webb, S Webb Space Telescope. A little for more infrared light. So that, I kind of like this. This is kind of cool. Go through the liftoff process. And the boosters, or this is like a infographic. Okay, this is an infographic. Um... Oh, it looks like, okay, there's audio. Oh, the first appears is just a bright light on the horizon. Could be anything. Could be another satellite. Could be, you know, Jupiter. Uh, except that it travels with you as you go around the Earth. And it's so, obviously, on that one, not the most clear that the audio is supposed to be there, but once you find it, it's kind of cool. Uh, okay, then I can press on his information and learn a little bit more about the astronaut we were speaking with. One last mission, uh, build a telescope. Ooh, and that just threw me off to a brand new page for one of those paper airplane telescopes. Uh, whatever. I guess that's okay. I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest. You just kind of have to dive into it and find it yourself. You know, so this article obviously has uh, some photo galleries as well. So that'll do it with my coverage. I really enjoyed this website. I think I learned a lot about what's going on. And at the end of the day, it's all good to me. So uh, I'm going to end this recording. And that's the website. The Space Shuttle Error by the Tampa Bay Times.